Welcome to this Meco Graphics training video. Today I'm going to show you how to create a cascade chart, which is sometimes called a waterfall chart. The cascade is a useful chart for showing the change in a variable between two or more points in time. It can be used to show change in revenue, costs, or in this case, I'm showing change in cash during a fiscal year using data from a company's statement of cash flows. You can see that cash increased 16% during the fiscal year. I've used a pretty standard coloring scheme for a cascade chart by selecting green for the bars that are positive contributors to cash and red for the bars that are uses or negative contributors to cash. Now let me show you how to make this chart. If we go to Meco Graphics in the PowerPoint menu, under Cascade, we select Change Cascade. That will insert a change cascade and open the Meco Graphics data editor. Now I have my data for this chart in Excel. There it is. So I'm just going to copy it, paste it into my data sheet. You can see on the chart below, it's starting to take shape, but there's a couple of things I need to do in this data sheet. I need to tell Meco Graphics which bars I want to be total bars and which bars I want to be uh, shown on the chart. So in this case, I would like all four of these bars, which I'm multi-selecting by holding down the shift key and then right clicking. I'm going to say set as total cascade bar that turns it on and I will actually want them all off. So I want them all to be change bars. And then I'm going to take my last bar, which is ending cash, right click again and I set that as my total cascade. If I close the data sheet, you can see that our chart is coming together. So let's do a couple of things to format it. If I select chart from the Meco Graphics ribbon, I can do a couple of things. First, I'd like to format my values. In this case, I'm going to do the Y axis and select dollars. I can also, if I go back to general, I can turn on or off the link all segments, which are the little dotted lines that show in between the bars. In this case, I'll leave them on. Now I'd like to recolor this chart using the color scheme that I mentioned on the previous slide. So if I click on operations and I right click, I'll choose to color that segment a green color because it's positive. And then I'm going to multi-select by holding down control the three negative segments. Right click and I'll color these red. Click off the chart and there's your change cascade. In this chart we're showing Apple's change in revenue between two quarters by product. So this chart has a slightly different look and feel than the previous change cascade for a couple of reasons. First, we hid the y-axis by right-clicking on it and selecting hide. We also added an axis break to this chart. If I right-click on that axis break and remove it, you can see that the axis break was added so that each component of change would be more visible on the chart. I'll click on do and bring it back. There's a couple of things you can do with an axis break. You can change the size of it. You can also right click on it and change the style. So we had the squiggly lines. You could also do the diagonal that indicates that you have an axis break. So that's just another way of showing a change cascade with a slightly different format. Now let me show you another type of cascade. This one's called a build up cascade. And it starts with a particular number, in this case net loss, and shows the individual components that take you from that number to total cash from operations. A build-up cascade is particularly useful when you need to walk your audience down the path, and it's really helpful when you have positive and negative values, which would preclude you from using a 100% stack bar or a pie chart to show each element's relationship to the total. So let's create this chart. I choose Meco Graphics, click on the down arrow under Cascade to open a build-up cascade. 
opens the Meco Graphics Data Editor. Again, I have my data for this chart in Excel. And you can see in this case that the data is structured differently than in our last example. I've actually staggered the data according to row and column. So you can see that the rows and columns have the same titles and the data runs along a diagonal so that the cash from operations row only has data in the cash from operations column. Now I've done this to make it easy to color the chart based on series. So each one of these items or bars in the chart will be a different series so I can automatically color the chart using my color palette. So let's copy and paste this data into the data sheet. Now I need to tell Meco Graphics which columns or bars I want to be total bars. So I'm going to hold down the shift key and select all of the bars in the middle. I'm going to right click and I'm going to say, I'm going to turn off set as total cascade bar. So they'll all be shown as change bars. And then for the final column, cash from operations, I'm going to right click on that and say set as total cascade. Close down the data sheet and we can see the chart. You can see that it colored each bar as a separate color using my color palette. And this chart is pretty much complete. We could just right click on the Y axis to add an axis title. Click off. And that's a build up cascade. Thank you for watching this Mecho Graphics training video. For more videos, please visit our website.